So when we position it, it's best to position it kind of at the top and kind of over to the left. So if you click on this button, yep, that's the move button, click in the centre, yep, there, and now just drag it up, that's the way. I love materials, I love pencil, I love paint, I love working with these things, I love working with my hands. Um, so from that very material point of view, I get to go to work and draw pictures. I have just watched with a huge amount of joy actually, Hannah's, both her teaching and her art practice develop over the time that I've known her. And they, they've developed in tandem. So as her practice has developed, she has been teaching more drawing and painting here. And so what she does in the studio, she brings back into the classroom and she's so willing to share um, her knowledge with the students. You know, I am a transmitter of knowledge. I'm, I'm passing on my knowledge and those people that I, that I pass that knowledge on to, they're the new keepers of the knowledge. That's kind of the way I see it. So I have to prepare those people to deal with that knowledge and develop it and innovate it and, and then pass it on in their own ways, maybe that's through art, maybe that's through design. Enthusiasm, definitely. Hannah's really passionate about art and about teaching. Like she just brought that teaching energy with her whatever the circumstances were, which is really cool. She would get excited for your project with you and I think that was really motivating for not just me but everyone. She took your project on as sort of her own almost and would push you to do the best you could what I see creativity to it, how that functions. It's not linear. It'll meander off this way and it'll come back and while you're having an epiphany here, it's gonna spark the needing and the wanting to learn something else over here. And while that's happening, you might get some feedback. So in the classroom, scheduling that into a project, going, okay, here's these, here's these little chunks of time where, you know what, you, you play, you fail, you do those things and see what happens and then we'll get back on track and we'll review them, you know. Um, and then we'll play again and while all of that's happening, don't be afraid to like start something else just because it's curious to you. So not limiting a process to being too linear. Um, yeah, having enough flexibility within the schedule of a program or a timetable. To just give you new creative ideas that you haven't even thought about and then coming up with things on the fly which is so fun. She really made us feel like we were artists working with other artists, like colleagues, you know, and she was teaching us in a way where we could go away and not need a teacher anymore, which is really cool. Hannah learns a lot of new stuff by trial and error herself. So she's taught herself to use a lot of uh, like design programs and she passes that learning on to the students. So she knows how, what it's like to learn by doing, to learn by making mistakes, to learn by um, experimenting. And I think that's a really strong thing to bring into a classroom. Learning should be a joy. And I, I love learning, because I'm always learning new things. So yeah, I'm very grateful for being able to be a teacher and as I said, a transmitter of knowledge.